Hey guys, welcome back to another something in about five minutes. Today we're continuing our cardiology talks here in February all about Lisa, the girl that you never forget from paramedic school. If you don't know Lisa, you're going to learn today. So let's get started. So guys, with Lisa, who the hell is she? Well, she's the girl, like I said, that you'll never forget from paramedic school. She's either your best friend, your worst enemy, or someone that you hooked up with and wish you hadn't. Um, <laughs> but you will always need to remember Lisa. L-I-S-A is an acronym specifically for uh, knowing what uh, wall of the heart is infarcting in a myocardial infarction on your 12 leads. So here's what Lisa actually looks like on broken down on a 12 lead. Okay. So I've broken it down lateral or your lateral wall MI. Okay. Is going to be shaded in your light baby blue here. And that is leads one AVL V5 and V6. Those are the, those, if those all have elevations, ST elevations, you can say there is a lateral wall stemming. Okay, moving on, you have inferior, and that's going to be your purple here. Inferior is 2, 3 AVF, right? Inferior bottom of the heart, okay? That's your big one, the Widowmaker, if it's really, uh, really those, ev those elevations uh, are super, super drastic, okay? Then now in blue, we're going to move into the septal wall or the wall that divides the left and the right side of the heart, okay? And there you're gonna be looking specifically at V1 and V2, okay? Moving on, you're going to get into the anterior leads. And this is, these are the leads in green here. And that is going to be your V3 and V4 leads. This is where you're gonna be looking for ST elevations for your anterior Am I? Now guys, don't just think that if it's, you know, only in one spot, it can't involve another, right? You can have maybe one lead, say you have, um, you know, an anterior septal. So you got, uh, you know, V1, V2, uh, maybe some minor elevations or even some uh, depressions that are going to be flipping towards elevations or maybe only v1 is elevated and not v2 but you have you know three millimeter or four millimeter elevations in v3 and v4 so we can have combinations of these two uh there's inferior lateral there's all sorts of different kind of variants that we can get so don't always um you know, just think that Lisa is a cut and dry, hey, it's got to be all inferior. It's got to be all, you know, lateral. This is just a guideline to help you guys remember which leads are looking at which sections of the heart. Okay. The last thing I want to get into here is just the, uh, the arteries of the heart that feed the certain walls of the heart okay the coronary arteries that feed different walls of the heart so the lateral infarct remember that leads one avl v5 and v6 that is going to be a blockage in either the left anterior descending artery or the left circumflex or a combination of both okay both feed that lateral wall Okay, moving down to inferior, that's going to be your 2-3 AVF leads. That's going to be your right coronary artery. Your septal infarcts, that's your V1 and V2 leads. Remember that. The left anterior descending artery feeds this septal wall. Okay, and lastly, your anterior infarct, your V3 and your V4 leads, is going to be your left anterior descending artery. Uh, coronary artery as well. So guys, that was quick down and dirty with Lisa. Remember, she is the girl that you will never forget. Make sure you're aware of her. Make sure that you study her. I know her front to back, back to front. Okay. Till next time, guys, I will see you in my next video.